All right, Shalom. One. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Waharaka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect out here tolling in his truth. I'm Bathaka Moth, GMS Dallas, and I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson. <clears throat> so, like, I think I'm going to name this uh, Israel's punishment is accomplished. And now it's E's turn. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, because we're in the times uh, of this devil's end, man. You know what I'm saying? The Lord has given this uh, uh, devil uh, to fulfill prophecy, a carnal, temporary blessing uh, of uh, the earth, man, being in his possession, man, which is representative of the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? So rulership of the earth. And uh, those blessings are uh, <clears throat> are in Genesis, the 27th chapter. When you read the 27th chapter of Genesis, it goes into which there were two blessings, uh, one to Esau and one to Jacob, man. You know what I'm saying? Which also, when you read it, as a matter of fact, I'll get it real quick. When you read in Hebrews, the 11th chapter, in verse 20, it reads, this is Hebrews 11 and 20, by faith. Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. So there was two blessings, man, not one. That's why it says in, in 2 Ezra, the 6th chapter in verse 9, uh, Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. As a matter of fact, uh, I'll get that real quick. Instead of quoting it, I'll just go ahead and pull it. 2 Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 9. The second Ezra chapter six and verse nine for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth because of what we're reading right here. Hebrews 11 and 20 by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come. Because when you read in Genesis, the 27th chapter, as a matter of fact, let me just grab it. You know, when you read, uh, this is Genesis chapter 27, and I'll get to the point in verse 37. I'll just start at verse 37. Genesis 27 and 37. And Isaac answered and said unto Esau, Behold, I have made him the Lord, Salakia, I have made him thy Lord, and all his brethren have I given to him for servants. And with corn and wine have I sustained him. And what shall I do now unto thee, my son? Verse 38. And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept because the kingdom of heaven was given to Jacob, man, which Jacob represents the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent, which are the Israelites, man. You know, because Jacob's name was turned to Israel when he fought the angel in one, man. You know, and of course, out of the loins of Jacob slash Israel, came those 12, 12 sons, man, the, patri the patriarchs, the 12 tribes. And uh, it says, uh, verse 30, so he cried, man, you know, because he knew he knew he was through, man. <laughs> you know, he gave up the, you know, hey, Jacob got that blessing, man. You know, Genesis 27 and 39, and Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. So he gave him a temporary blessing man you know which uh and he was uh verse uh, beginning of verse 40 and by thy sword shall thy shalt thou live and of course that's what this devil has done man he's lived by by his sword man you know and that's the way the lord had this 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 uh this uh story to play out man you know he's been conquering uh, uh from the time of alexander the greek and on into the romans on into the day into today you know and that's why the edomites so-called self-proclaimed white man woman and child have what they have today man you know this temporary blessing had to be fulfilled man but, but that is not the end because we just read in uh, hebrews 11 and 20 that isaac blessed jacob and esau concerning things to come so we're in this blessing this part of the blessing which is temporary we're at the end of it right now you know i just brought that out in second Ezra six and nine esau is the end of the world but jacob is the beginning of it that follow it so this blessing Right here has to come to pass as well. This is when you read up a little bit, the blessing of Jacob, which is the kingdom of heaven, Genesis 27 and 27, and came near and kissed him, and he smelled uh, the smell of the of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field, which Yahweh had blessed, because 
uh, uh, his mom, his mother Rachel, uh, uh, Salaki, uh, Rebecca, his mother Rebecca uh, uh, loved uh, uh, Jacob, man, and she and she wanted Jacob to to get the blessing, man. So she she uh, uh, fixed him up as as Esau, you know, made him feel hairy, you know, get that smell of, of 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 the of the field, you know, gave him that smell of the field, and and. And sent him to his father, man, because she knew he was going to receive that blessing. So it says, uh, and came there and kissed him and he smelled the smell of his, of his raiment and blessed him and said, see, the smell of my son is the smell of a field, which Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai had blessed. Therefore, the Most High give thee of the dew of heaven and of the fattest of the earth and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren, and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Cursed be everyone that curseth thee, and blessed be he that blesseth thee. So the difference, he, he got the fatness of the earth and a, and a dew from heaven just like Esau did. But the only difference is he got plenty of corn and wine, and, and, and people are going to serve. You know, the brethren are going to, his brethren are going to serve. So, you know, and he and, and those that bless him is going to be blessed and those that curse him are going to be cursed, man. You know, Esau didn't receive all that, man. You know, because Esau got a temporary blessing. This is the, the, the kingdom of heaven, man. You know, Jacob got the kingdom of heaven, uh, an eternal forever blessing of, of and everything is going to be plenteous, man. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be beautiful uh, for, for the Israelites, man. But there was two blessings. So I just want to establish a little uh, a little foundation, you know, because. Israel, uh, uh, Israel's punishment is accomplished, man. You know what I'm saying? So I want to set that little uh, uh, foundation and groundwork to to go into the fact that that uh, you know the nation of Israel, of course, went off. You know, and and, and as a matter of fact, let me get this real quick in in, uh, in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. You know, because when you read up at the top of the chapter, it goes into how. If Israel would have listened to the Lord, they would have received the blessings of the Lord. And that's all the way down through uh, verse 14. And then at the uh, uh, verse 15, it goes into if they didn't listen. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not, it will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Uh, Yahweh Shem Yahweh power to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So. The, the the Israelites being hard headed, stiff necked uh, people did the latter. This right here, you know, they didn't listen, man. So the most I put them under curses, man, you know, and they've been under these curses. And when you read in these curses, it goes through a, a list of the curses that the, the that the Israelites have been under, you know, and that's how that's one of the ways we know who the Israelites are today. You know what I'm saying? And all the way down to verse 68, where it goes into. Uh, uh, slavery, man, by way of ships, which we know who that happened to, the transatlantic slave trade. That only happened to one nation of people, man, on the planet, period, ever. So these are the curses that 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 uh, the nation of Israel has been under, man, So so because they've been being punished for going off, man. But we're at the point of uh, uh, Israel's punishment being accomplished, man. You know what I'm saying? So from there, I want to go to Isaiah... The 40th chapter and verse 2 and it reads speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and Jerusalem represents the nation of Israel you know uh, Jerusalem in the Hebrew is to Zion one which means a, a monument man you know and of course we know a monument is, some, is a thing is a, is a, is a uh, something of remembrance man you know what I'm saying and the most I said he would never for, uh, forget his the covenant uh, or, or his people man uh, Isaiah 40 and 2, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. <laughs> so the warfare of the nation of Israel is accomplished. And, and when you go into the word warfare, it, it, you know, I think it means like appointed time, the hardship, you know, the hardship and a, the, the appointed hardship of the nation of Israel, that warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, you know. And, and as a matter of fact, when you go into that word pardoned, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, to satisfy a debt, accomplish uh, uh, or reconcile. As a matter of fact, let me let me let me I want to get a definition uh, real quick, a web def definition real quick. 
Salakia. Uh, this it says pardon. I just you know it's a Google definition. It says uh, pardon, and it's uh, to forgive or excuse. There it is. So so the punishment of 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 Israel or the warfare of Israel is is uh, uh, forg forgiven and excused by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. You know what I'm saying? So back in Isaiah 40 and 2, it reads, Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, forgiven, man. <laughs> you know? Excused, for she hath received of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's hand double for all her sins. So the Lord, that's that double straights, man. You know? That hell that the Lord put his people in, man. You know what I'm saying? And they've been in that hell you know, the, those double straights for, for 500 plus years, man. You know what I'm saying? Because the Lord uh, 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 put a, put that couple of, uh, that cup of trembling in the hands of, of, of his people, man. You know, this is Isaiah chapter 51 and verse 17. And it reads, awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem, which has drunk at the hand of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the cup of his fury. Thou hast drunken the dregs of the cup of trembling and wrung them out. So they got every last bit of the wrath and fury of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Why? Because I just bought it out in Deuteronomy 28 and 15. If you didn't if, if if we didn't hearken to the voice of the Lord to do his commandments, you know, and his statutes to this day, that he was gonna put curses on us that was gonna jack us up man and he hey that happened man you know what i'm saying that cup of trembling it has got put in our hand man you know what i'm saying jake been getting they asses toe off the bone for a minute man you know because the lord has not been playing and they ain't figured it out yet man you know what i'm saying they they ain't figured out yet uh 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 what's going on man you know what i'm saying but uh uh you know, that's not the, you know, they got every, every last bit of the wrath uh, of the Lord, man. You know, we, we drink, we drink that cup. You know what I'm saying? We drink of that cup, which that cup is slavery, affliction, man. You know, but that's not it, man. That's not, that's not the end of it. You know, so will you, you devils, man. Y'all gonna get it too, because pursuant to Deuteronomy, the 30th chapter in verse seven, it says, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee, which is all 17 other nations, but especially you, you Edomites, man. You know, y'all hate us and y'all persecuted us, man. You know, this was the worst captivity ever, period, ever. The worst, man. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to go through it, too. You're going to have to go through that, man. You know? Israel is at the end of its its uh uh the uh uh it's 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 a comp uh they've accomplished their iniquity man it's accomplished man they're at the end of 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 their punishment man but you devils are at the beginning of yours man this is uh Jeremiah forty nine and verse twelve and it reads for thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai behold they whose judgment was not to drink of the cup have assuredly drunken, man, you know, and that's talking about the nation of Israel, and the nation of Israel represents you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negroid descent, you know, it says you have, they have assuredly drunken, man, you know, and that cup, again, represent, represents affliction, slavery, and art thou he that shall altogether go unpunished, he's talking to you Edomites, man, that, that, that did, you know, you took his people into slavery and did, had your way with them, are you going to go unpunished? He's going to give you your answer. Thou shalt not go unpunished, but thou shalt surely drink of it. So you're going to drink of that same cup that 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 you're going to get that cup of trembling put in your hands, which I'm, I'm going to pull that scripture, man. But you're going to drink of that same cup, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get away with it, you know, because the Lord allowed you to, to take his people into captivity, man. You know, you ain't did nothing special. You're not special. Ezekiel chapter 39 and verse 30, uh, 23, and it reads, and the heathen, all these other 17 nations, and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel, which the house of Israel is both uh, uh, northern and southern kingdom, the, all 12 tribes, 
and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. So that's that's why you were able to take us down and take us into captivity, because we were going off. Why? Back to Deuteronomy 28 and 15, man. We didn't hearken to the voice of the Lord, man. So he put curses on us. And when you go down to verse 68, slavery by way of slave cargo slave ships, man. That's what happened. So, hey, man, you, you people are going to find out, man. But Ezekiel 39 and 23, and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity for their iniquity. So that's why we went into slavery, because they trespassed against me. Therefore, hid I my face from them and gave them gave them that's a key word gave them into the hand of their enemies so we got given to you man because <laughs> when you think about that how can a weaker nation take a stronger nation down we're stronger man it's just in every way man you know every way you try to go up put the average jake against the edomite in a fight he gonna and, and jake is gonna whoop the the a lesser jake you know or, or an average jake can can beat the best of of edom man you know what I'm saying? We'll whoop your tail, man. We're better at, at sex. We're better in the bedroom. We're, we're faster runners. We're better fighters. We're, be we're just we're smarter. We're just better. We're better people, man. You know, because we're the Lord's portion, man. The scriptures go into that as well. It says, uh, therefore, hid I my face from them and gave them into the hand of their enemies. So fell they all by the sword. So that's why you've been able to do what you've been able to do to the nation of Israel all this time. I'm going to drop down to verse 28. Ezekiel 39 and 28. Then shall they know that I am Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, their power, which caused them to be led into captivity among the heathen. But I have gathered them into their own land and have left none of them anymore there. So the Most High is going to take us out uh, uh, from among you, man. You know, that's that gathering. That's that salvation. You know, uh, verse 29, neither will I hide my face anymore from them, for I have poured out my spirit upon the house of Israel, saith Yahweh Shem Shai. Why? Because the Israel's punishment is accomplished, man. You know what I'm saying? So he's never going to do these things to his nation of people ever again, man. You know, it's your turn, Edom. Esau, you self-proclaimed so-called white people. It's your turn, man. You're, gonna, you're about to go through it. This is uh, Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 21. And it reads, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. You know, Edom means red, man. You know what I'm saying? You go back to your forefather Esau, man. You know, because when you uh, come back, let me get this real quick. Genesis 36 and verse 8. Uh, and it reads, Genesis 36 and 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. So Jacob and Esau, you so-called in Edom, his name got changed to Edom. You know, when he when he uh, the, when he ate the, the, the raw uh, pottage in, in uh, Genesis, the uh, 25th chapter, man, you know what I'm saying? His name got changed to Edom, you know, which means red, man. And there's a term in the earth, rednecks, man. You know, you got that. You got that term on you, man. You know, that's what it means because you're the red people, because the uh, uh, you, you have no no pigment, man, no melanin. You're you're the blood shows forth through your uh, uh, translucent skin, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's why you turn red with everything, you know, heat, cold, uh, flustered, mad, happy, you know, uh, you know, blushing. All, everything turns you red. You know, if somebody hits you on, slaps you, hits you on the neck or whatever, you know, whatever, wherever you get hit, the sun, sun burns, you know, you know, everything turns you red, man. So and that's what Edom means. Red, man. When you go into that and in, in, into into that uh, a word, it's, it means red, man. So back in Lamentation, the the. The fourth chapter and verse 21, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, you so-called self-proclaimed white people that dwellest in the land of Uz. Uz represents America, man. The cup, slavery and affliction also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. So you, you're going to be drunk in, in, in you know, in, in uh, uh, getting your tail whooped, man. You know, you know, <laughs> you about to get it, man. You know, verse 22, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. So the Israelites, man, you know, which is the title of the lesson, Israel's punishment is accomplished, man. So the punishment of the Israelites is accomplished. Verse 22 again, the, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, man. That's why we went through it. We've been going through it for uh, 500 plus years at the hand of you devils, man. You know, because that's how the, the, the Lord gets down, man. 
he uses one nation against another man and he and he bought you uh, uh on uh the nation of israel you you edomites you so-called self-proclaimed white people on the uh, uh the israelites you know the so-called negroes latinos native americans and Seminole indians of negro descent man he bought you on them and it goes into that in the curses man you know and and also when you read in psalms the uh the, the 17th chapter uh uh it goes into how Esau is the Lord's sword, man. You know, you're his whooping stick, you know, because he uses one nation against another nation, man. You know, so Lamentations 4 and 22, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So it's your turn, man. You know what I'm saying? It's your turn. You know, this thing it is, is uh, as a matter of fact, when you read in, in uh, Deuteronomy, uh, the 30th chapter, when you read at the top, uh, Deuteronomy 31, it says, And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessings and the curse <laughs> which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations, whither the Lord, Yahweh Shai hath driven thee. You know, so the blessings and the curses, man, you know, you're going to receive both. We've received the curses. So what's left for us is the blessings. You received the blessings. So what's left for you? The curses, man. That's why when you read down in verse 7, it's, it goes into how the, 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 the curses are going to be uh, 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 put upon y'all, man, our enemies now. You know, it's your turn, man, because the, 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 the punishment of Israel is accomplished, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? And the scriptures just, hey man, this, it's a beautiful story when, when you know, when you understand these scriptures and what's going on. Back in uh, Isaiah 51, in verse 20, uh, tw uh, 23 now, yeah. Isaiah 51 and 23, but I will put, well, let me just start back at verse 22 and read it again. This is Isaiah 51 and 22, I bought it out earlier. Thus saith Yehobah Shemel Shai Power. Uh, Salaki, Isaiah 51 and 22. Thus said thy Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, and thy power that pleadeth the cause of his people, behold, I have taken out of thine hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury, thou shalt no more drink it again. So he's taken the cup of trembling out of the hands of the nation of Israel. Verse 23, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee which have said to, thi to, to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over. And you, you devils literally did that, man. You know, when there was puddles of water, you know, you would make Jake lay down where you could step on them and so you wouldn't get your, your shoes dirty, muddy, man. You know, you would walk on top of Jake you know, over, over mud piles and stuff, man, you know, and make them lay in the mud and stuff. So you literally did that, you know, made us lay down, bow down that we may, that you, and so you could walk over us, man, you know? So these things about to come uh, uh, to you, man, you know, because the, uh, uh, Israel's punishment is, is accomplished. Now it's your turn. You, you, you so-called self-proclaimed white people who are the true biblical Edomites, man, the red Hebrew Edomites. It's your turn to go through it, man. You know, so, hey, buckle up. It's going to be a, 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 a hard, long, ugly ride for you, man. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, with that, giving all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shal Dawadat, Shalom.